Hey gang, it's Ross with Trainwise Fitness and Performance and Runwise Coaching. You know what time it is, it's spring. And you know what that means? New shoes. So I've got something for y'all to check out. Be right back. All right guys, it's springtime. You know what that means? No, not birds and flowers. Yes, those things happen, but shoes. We got new shoes coming out every spring. And this is another offering from Saucony. A nice update to the Kinovar 7, or to the Kinovar series rather, this is the Kinovar 7, alright? So, really, really enjoyed this shoe so far. Uh, I've put, you know, 30 or 40 miles on it since I've had it. Um, and uh, that, to me, that's where I can really start to discuss some of the features and likes and dislikes of a shoe. So, let's get after it. First off, Again, being the Kinovar series, you're going to have the traditional 4 millimeter offset. They have not done away with that. I actually really like that range. Uh, I'm really at home, 4 to 7, 8 millimeters uh, on my shoe. I can kind of go with anything in there. Uh, so I like that offset. Other thing, the shoe is extremely lightweight. Weighs in at 7.7 .7 ounces, which puts it in the lighter range, especially of the shoes uh, in that more almost in the moderate cushioning level uh, and not quite in the minimal cushioning level. You've got a 22 millimeter heel stack, 18 millimeter forefoot stack, so you're kind of bridging that gap, you know, kind of bridging that area right where you'd be going into more moderate cushioning uh, and just leaving that minimal cushioning region there uh, that we find. One of the things that's nice about that is because Saucony's come up with a new Everrun material, this shoe feels very cloud-like, not unlike the Hoka's. But yet, I'm not looking at the heft in the stack of a Hoka. Now don't get me wrong, I like my Hokas. I'm still gonna run in them, uh, run on roads in them. But when I see offerings like this, you know, I really think it's gonna take a bite out of Hoka's market share. And uh, you know, I'm gonna be running in this for a while. I really, really have enjoyed this shoe, uh, aside from a couple of fit issues that we're gonna get into in a little bit. Um, going back to that Everrun material. Saucony says the Everrun material is going to provide you an 83% uh, return on energy. Uh, whether or not that's true or not, I don't have a way to measure that. Other than I know that this shoe is very light and responsive and I get a really nice ground feel. Um, something that I can really appreciate so I can kind of tell, you know, where my foot's hitting the ground and where my next stride's going to be. So the Everrun actually sits right up under the upper of the sole. It's going to be the closest amount of cushion you'll find to the foot aside from putting a, a cushioned insert into the shoe. Uh, so Saucony's kind of patented this idea that we're going to raise up the cushioning uh, instead of it all just being in the midsole. We're going to put it right up here, right up underneath the upper and add this little extra layer for you. And again, it's really nice, very cloud-like feeling, uh, but still very responsive uh, ride as well. I do get a nice little bit of uh, spring back from it. And uh, like I said, I've just found that cushion system to feel really, really good. Um, Something else they're using, they're using the uh, flex film in here. Uh, what that does, that's going to help create a nice snug fit. Uh, keep your foot in place as you're moving, running stride after stride. Uh, like I said, I found for the most part this shoe to be fairly comfortable. Uh, it's got a very nice breathable upper. Has a nice debris screen here, so keep some of that road debris out. I'm not going to keep all of it out, but uh, again, it, it is very breathable. So when these Georgia days get a whole lot hotter, I think I'm really going to appreciate having that breathable shoe. Uh, putting your foot in this shoe, uh, right off the bat, it, it feels like your foot was meant to be in it. Uh, and I think that's the idea Saucony was going for. Uh, I can really appreciate a shoe that when I put it on, it feels like a glove on my foot. Almost like I don't know it's there. Uh, aside from the fact that when I go and hit the pavement, I don't step on the rocks and the nails and the glass and whatever else we may find out there on the road. Uh, all the reasons that keep me from barefoot running. Um, but that flex film does a really nice job there hugging the foot, keeping you, keeping you well balanced and in place. Uh, something else they've done is with this model, they have put a, a tab in here. You can see it right here. It actually hugs right across, uh, right across your midfoot and really is going to help hold you in place. The nice thing is this tab is actually attached to, this, to the bottom of the shoe here. And so when you've tightened up these laces, you can get this real nice dialed in snug fit without creating all this tension and folding along the upper here. 
Uh, something you're seeing that a lot with other shoe companies. Nike has been doing it with their uh, Pegasus and Air Zooms. Uh, and a lot of other companies are starting to do it now. You're kind of seeing this out there in different formats. Uh, again, just get that real nice dialed in fit. Snug where you need it, loose where you don't. Uh, and something, again, I, I really like and have enjoyed. Which brings me to the one fit issue I have with this shoe. Inside, where you have this, where they've anchored down the tongue and anchored down this tab here, there's a little bit of elastic, uh, which for me on my right foot falls and hits, uh, for me maybe I'll see where I'm pushing out, falls and hits the outside portion of my foot right here. Now I usually wear a pretty thick uh, sock when I'm running, uh, it helps keep away the moisture for me, but if I wasn't wearing that, I'm a, I'm a little afraid that that might create a hot spot for me on this shoe. Again, uh, probably not going to happen to everybody. Uh, it'd be one of those things if I were to, I can't really size down this shoe, it'd be too snug, uh, my toes would be hitting up against the edge, and if I size up on it, it's just going to change where that little area would rub on me. Um, again, it's not a deal breaker, I haven't had any issues, I've put, you know, a couple 10 mile runs in there. Uh, this may not be my marathon shoe, uh, for that reason, just out of that concern. Um, I'm probably going to go out and do a marathon later, but when I'm doing a product test, I prefer not to injure myself because I've got a lot of events coming up myself and I want to stay healthy as I can. Um, again, that's my only concern with it, and uh, it's something you can feel when you get into the shoe yourself. Um, again, not a deal breaker. You may not even notice it, but again, just something with uh, my foot, and I only notice it on my right foot. So, again, it's not, it's not a terrible thing, but just something that I noticed that I'd point out to you guys while I'm going through the review. So, let's get to the bottom of the sole here. One of the reasons this shoe is so lightweight besides that Ever Run system that hits here and is lower, laid out in the heel, you've also got these new EVA compounds. Uh, a lot of companies have gone to taking off the blown rubber, which of course is going to add weight, and running with these EVA compounds. You'll see it a lot. Uh, saw it a lot starting with the Hoka's really and uh, some of the Brooks shoes too. Um, but this EVA has been holding up really well. You'll see it across the board. Uh, it doesn't degrade that quickly and uh, it, it feels pretty good. Um, and again, you can save some space by putting targeted blown rubber out there. And uh, so Salkney's put their injection blown rubber, their IBR Plus on this. And it's a really nice lightweight blown rubber. It's injection molded so they inject the uh, rubber into a specific mold and then they add it into these strategic points here uh, of where you're going to end up with most contact on the uh, foot and the heel. Again I think it's a nice feature. Um, some people don't like the idea that you don't have blown rubber. They think your shoes wear out a little bit faster and they may a tad bit um, but you know again if you're like me I'm you know 400 miles I'm tossing these down to be a, a wear around shoe and they you know I stopped running them so much so something I you know again just it tells it makes it nice and lightweight they've also got a nice triflex uh, system on this so the shoe actually flexes and bends a little bit more so you get a nice responsive ride helps add in some propulsion the other thing with that triflex is it does help kind of disperse the uh, the impact so as you hit down the shoe is going to give it, has three areas in which it can give in as your foot rolls through its range of motion and runs through that gait cycle that you're going to kind of deaden some of that impact you're going to help uh, have the optimal amount of traction and uh, an optimal strike there again this shoe's not going to make you run on your forefoot but as you go through your gait cycle it is going to keep you uh, keep your foot lined up pretty well uh, and again that's just their their triflex feature that they've added uh, all in all, shoes are great color. Like I said, it's bright, helps me be seen on some of these uh, early morning runs that I like to do. Uh, so I can definitely appreciate that. That's one thing that uh, always draws me to a shoe is I'm going to check out the colors because I run at 4, 4.30 in the morning most of the time. And I really, really want to be seen for safety reasons. And so anything that's got these bright neon yellows, neon greens, neon oranges with a lot of reflectivity, you can bet I'm going to check it out and probably do a review on it for you. Alright guys, thanks for checking out this review and uh, overview of the uh, Saucony Kenvar 7. 
Hope you found it informative. Hope it gives you some good information uh, that you can go and arm yourself with. And uh, make sure you're asking the right questions, checking for the right things when you're getting out there and getting fitted for your shoes. So again, like I said earlier, if you have any comments, questions, feel free to put them down below. Let me know, I'll get back with you. You can always see me at trainwisefitness.com. Check me out on Facebook. Again, I'm Ross Wise with Trainwise Fitness and Performance and Runwise Coaching. And remember to train harder, train smarter, and train wise.